self-worth, multi-dimensions. It's what I learned today at my session. To be multi-dimensional because I pride myself on one thing, and that is being good at what I do. I'm an instrument, and I'm good at being an instrument. But whenever, that in, whenever I'm not good enough, like Donald Trump, for example, was brought up as an example. Donald Trump, his being is based on his money, you know, simply. And what is he without his money? Without his being, money is what makes him his being. For me, it's metrics. It's, it's things that Twitch follower numbers, Twitter follower numbers, things like that make me who I am because that is what I need to do. I need to excel. Self-deprecation, I've learned over the past couple of weeks, is the prevention of being worthy. My core belief is feeling my core belief is that I am not worthy. The core belief that I'm trying to change. And self-deprecation prevents me from feeling worthy. We talked tonight about what multidimensional, being a multidimensional person is. And part of that is actually sharing things with people, being a, sharing your knowledge without asking for anything in return. And I can think of two examples where it hits closer to home than I may think. I have two very good friends out there who are making very good, very making waves on the, in the internet right now or have been for the last decade or so. And I am happy to say that I had been part of their life and a, been part of that process. But when the student surpassed a teacher, when Paul in blogging and Nand in design surpassed me at those things, instead of being happy for them, my unconscious told me to self-deprecate. Why couldn't I do that? Why didn't I do that? What prevented me from doing that? A few good friends of mine over the past few months have hit partnership, just like me. They've skyrocketed. You know, and, and um, whether or not I had any peace in that, I have had this feeling of Instead of being happy for them, I deprecate myself because I'm afraid of being worthy. I really don't know where this is going to take me. I know it's going to be something hard, but at least learning tonight, I have something, something that I can be proud of. I pride myself of being a jack of all trades, that I can enter something. and try to excel at it. Web design was the first, was one of the first things, but I can do many things. You know, I've, I'm the son of a carpenter. I am the, um, I'm a web designer. I'm a web, pro, I'm a web developer, all self-taught, and I should be proud of that. Um, and I haven't been. For some reason I can't because the only thing that defines me is my metrics as being a tool. It's funny because I, there's a very good guy out there, very big streamer who calls him, who calls me his favorite tool. And it's kind of ironic that my therapist also used the word tool tonight, that that is the only thing I am, I see myself good at is being a good tool. And I need to become more than that. Multi-dimensions, to be happy with oneself, to love oneself, to share, to learn, to master, and then to share without any recognition, without wanting anything in return. And I think I've done that. I'm close. And that's how that's, it feels good to, to do that, to be so close, but then to, it's better than not being there at all. It's better than being, you know, an arrogant, to live off arrogance and narcissism. You know, I've been, People have used the word genuine with me a lot, and I will learn to accept it because, you know, the proof is there, I guess, that I'm willing to give my time to anybody who asks for it, even when it is not the best time for me. Um, so I guess that's something I'll work on. All of this is stuff I'll work on, and 
the past two weeks have been a very eye-opening experience. It's been a very eye-opening experience for me. Um, so much so that my therapist has called me the 180 because I kind of know what to do now and hopefully I don't relapse too much. But um, hopefully you guys will be here not only for support, but to hopefully learn and help me learn a little bit. With that said, though, hope to see you next time, whenever that is. Thanks again for watching.